So I do everything kind of improvisationally. Yes. I take notes, but I've never read off a prompter in my no? life. I, I've made a prepared state? statement. Wow. I love this. What? So I love he it. got his <laughs> parchment <laughs> out, his little <laughs> feathered pen. He did. Here he goes. His quill. <laughs> I'd like to officially congratulate the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen for not only avenging their playoff loss last year, but he even slicked back his hair all nice for this. The class of the AFC yeah, over my yeah, Kansas after week City six, Chiefs class yeah. and Patrick AFC, Mahomes, man. respectively. <laughs> the Bills played Best a truly ever. brilliant game on both sides of the ball. Defensively, they held the Chiefs to 20 points in Arrowhead. They forced Mahomes into two incredibly uncharacteristic interceptions, including a stomach churning. Are those really uncharacteristic at this point, though? Board. Stomach churning. Not with his Allen, He's on the other hand, threw for more than 300 yards, three touchdowns, mm -hmm. zero interceptions, and had the wow Dude, play Josh of Josh Allen, the year like a Joe Montana in his prime Edwin yesterday, Moses baby. And left over yeah. a Chiefs defender the for the first down. Oh, I said wow. After admittedly being obsessed with the Chiefs and building an entire team Ain't with the that Chiefs the truth. in mind, the Bills have clearly proven they've done just that. The Bills now have a two-game lead on Kansas City in the race for the number one seed. It's very difficult to see all the AFC playoffs. Going through Orchard Park. Previously, Previously known, known as the Arrowhead Invitational, Invitational, don't go through <laughs> Buffalo this year. <laughs> this Arrowhead is the Bills is team great. that fans in upstate New York have been waiting a lifetime for. Meanwhile, the best days for the Chiefs appear to be behind them. Wow. Wow. Luckily, Luckily, I wrote this last year. Because <laughs> that's exactly what happened last year. It is, year. though. And it means nothing, I America. It was, I 20 it points, good to be three touchdowns from Josh Allen. Oh, he leapt over a Chief. Where have I seen that before? Oh, that exact script last year. You know what, Brew? I Dude, feel better about the Chiefs yeah. today what? than I did on Friday. How do they not believe Friday? that? You want to know the truth? I was a little worried the Bills' oh, offense clearly. might look unstoppable. Instead, 24 points? Against backup corners Rookie with our corners, secondary getting healthy with Willie Gay coming back off suspension. Missed a kick. Mahomes threw two picks. When's that going to happen again? Not come the playoffs. So, yeah, I've seen uh, that story before, my friends. The Bills roll into Arrowhead and kick the Chiefs' wow. ass. Except this time they didn't. They won a nail-biter. And the Chiefs are not Please. even roll. Please. Please. Right. So congrats, Buffalo. Two times. Yeah, they are the two times. <laughs> yep. They're going to hang champs the banner. Because that's their Dude, Super Bowl. They and they've won it two years in a row. Man, isn't it amazing that everything we've said, Nick Wright said the same thing. And doesn't that also amaze you that these people are so delusional and, and just hyping up this Bills team so much that they find it unbelievable that you would think that this was uh, a decent thing for Kansas City, a decent game by Kansas City. Right. These these sportscasters and these talking heads, man, they hate Kansas City so much. They hate the success that we've had. There's no better people than Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and our fan base that gets out and, like, lines up at 5 a.m. and bring it out. You know, like, there's some bad in our fans. There's bad fans everywhere. But for the majority, we're 99% good fans, a good fan base, middle America, and they hate our success. They really do. And Mahomes, he's just like your poster child, right? I mean, he's been with the same girl since, like, middle school. He's a family man. He's never in trouble. He's nice. He does good for their community. He says all the right things. He does hey, all the right things. His brother does TikToks. Man, yeah. How they, dare see, he? It's bad when they have to pull up. Like, they have to reach on things like his brother doing TikToks or, man, his wife was celebrating the win last year against Buffalo. Like, they have to reach on things to get things on this guy. But why, why do they hate on him so much? Why does it hurt everyone so much to see that guy be successful? I have no idea. I just don't get it. But yeah, these these sports announcers, man, they were just like they were so happy when they thought Nick Riot was like really like believing this that right. like, oh Mahomes sucks and Josh Allen's the greatest and the Chiefs are horrible and we're done. They loved it. They were eating right. it up. They like you couldn't have fed it to them with a on a spoon, they would have eaten it up no better. Right. And there's some Buffalo fans that's been in our comments lately. There's some good ones, there's some bad ones, you know, just like with every fan base. Some very knowledgeable, some just you know, like talking to the wall. But I mean, guys, if you're watching this, don't fall into the same trap that you always fall into. I hate to see your hearts broken that much because this happens every year. They fall in the same trap. They win the regular season game. They claim all victory. They, they stab their flags in the ground that they're the greatest team of all time. And they're the franchise to beat. And Josh Allen is the best quarterback of all time. And then they get beat in the playoffs because they had this delusional, like, massive over projection of what they are right celebrate your win
Yeah. I'm not, I'm not saying don't do it. Be happy if, about if, it. But if, if we would have won that game yesterday and Mahomes would have accomplished that, you know, minute drive there at the end, we'd have been talking about it on this podcast and saying Mahomes did it again. You guys got the bragging rights a little bit, but don't, don't go no more than that. Don't just automatically say you've won everything because no. if you remember, was it last year in the playoffs when every away team was just going in and trouncing the home team? So yeah. nowadays that doesn't mean much. The NFL has got a lot of parody. It's anybody's game come playoffs. Right. You, you can't count your chickens here. Hey, and this game proved one thing in a league that has a lot of parody. Now this was the two best teams in the league by far. Far and away, I'm sorry, 6-0 Eagles, but I think you're a notch below. I think the Chiefs and the Bills are the best teams in football, and I think that everyone noticed that yesterday all around the league. I think everyone watching that game saw that this is the two best teams in the league playing. Yeah, I think the NFC had the two best teams playing last night as well on, in their side with the uh, Eagles-Cowboys. Cowboys defense is good. I don't know about that offense, but anyway, yeah, like they were your best four teams probably last night. I mean, when – when you have a uh, Aaron Rodgers getting beat at home against Zach Wilson in the Jets, I mean, come right. on, you had you had Brady get beat by who was it? Trubisky, Mitchell yesterday? Trubisky, right? So yeah, Buffalo fans, just because Josh Allen won a regular season game by four points, that doesn't make him better than Mahomes. I'm sorry, but Mitchell Trubisky is not better than Tom Brady, and Aaron Rodgers is, you know, he's not, you know, so bad now that Zach Wilson's already better than him. That's just not how this works. So Josh Allen. I've always been a, a proponent of Josh Allen. I said before he got drafted that he was going to be really good. I told you that, Mike. And I think maybe you and Pops even argued with me a little bit and thought I was crazy. But um, I've always been big on him, and I, I think he's a great quarterback. He's good. I mean, the guy's big. He's fast. He can throw a laser beam. I mean, he, he's pretty dang good. Um, yeah. Well, but, we always get that from the Buffalo fans, you know, that say, you know, Mahomes was drafted into a good spot and Josh Allen wasn't. His team wasn't as good. Well, nobody's saying that the teams weren't, you know, Kansas City was slightly better. We had a few better weapons, but again, Tyreek wasn't the phenomenal Tyreek Hill that just got paid last year. And Kelsey was five years in and he wasn't that big of a, uh, a huge threat as he is now. Like they've all grown with Mahomes, but, uh, the Bills was a very good spot for Josh Allen to land in. I don't believe he would have been as successful as he is if not landing in Buffalo because right. uh, he just seems like somebody that um, represents your all city very well, your values, your fan base. I think it's a match made in heaven. That's why he's been so successful. And that's not taking nothing away from Josh Allen, but I do think if he was not in Buffalo, Josh Allen wouldn't be talked about as highly as he is. Now. No, I think it very, very fine line. I think if Josh Allen would have went to Jacksonville, maybe he would have Blake Bortled out. I mean, uh, you never know. So, yeah, I'm with you. I think he ended up where he needs to be at, and it's working for him. Um, like you said, match made in heaven. But, yeah, good game. Uh, can't say it was a bad game. I'm not down on the Chiefs right now. I actually see a lot of positives from this game. And, and Buffalo, you know, have your fun with it and enjoy it while it lasts. And we'll see you again in the playoffs, and hopefully it's a whole different outcome. It will be spoiler alert. Spoiler, yeah, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. It's going to be a little different. I, 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 I,